At what, at what point will you be drinking your own Kool-Aid using Tense Torrent hardware to develop future Tense Torrent hardware? Uh, soon. Soon. So everybody, everybody on the planet is aware of GPT, chat GPT now, and GitHub Pilot. So GitHub Pilot's been out for a while. It helps people write code. I've asked our engineers to start using that. Some of them think it's ridiculously good for helping you on the easy code. Andre Carpathy said it, it writes 80% of his code 80% correct, which if you're familiar with programmers, yep. is not a bad yeah. line. Yeah. You'd like to be 90 90, um, but it'll get there. It's pretty young. A uh, woman in our HR group used it to write some HR policies, chat GPT. She said it was really funny and it's pretty good. Um, this so, guy over there has written some social posts yeah. assisted. Yeah, so what I think, so, so we're, you start to use it in general. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be part of the toolkit. It's very obvious it's going to be good at writing test bench and structures. And we're thinking about, all right, so we have a methodology about how to build and test hardware and build and test software. And you typically build frameworks so that supports all the tests, and then the tests are easy to generate, and they have you know, widgets in them that check. So now can we train the model so that it knows about our framework and those widgets so it can auto-generate tests? That's, that's a fairly obvious path, but it's, it's engineering work to do. Um, we think it's going to be able to generate RTL, and then it's going to start to generate code that's different from how humans write code. And then this is the... This is the thing, and this is, you know, my bet. It's one of every once in a while you see these things and you go, I can't unsee it. The AI code generation is going to make programs that are different from people, and the computers that accelerate that the best are going to be different than the ones we built today. So us having really solid AI foundation, hardware computers and CPUs means that as we figure that out, we're going to go build new computers that are better at running that software. And that's a positive feedback loop. And because we have the capability to do AI hardware, software, and CPUs with all the collateral that goes around that with the team using AI to do it, we think we're gonna be, let's say, well positioned to go make those next architectural steps. Does and that's, that's a fairly big intellectual statement. Mm. And we're getting into it and as best I can tell you know, like Lubiz and I have talked a lot about this in the last two years, and as we sort of gotten into it, it seems like we're directionally correct and we're going to keep going. Does it worry you that the output, the initial outputs of those models create designs that are uninterpretable? So, so when really. it comes to debugging or edge cases, you can't actually go in, it's yeah. just... So, so this is one of the arguments, like an autonomous driving. Don't you want some part of the code to be written by humans, right? Because you could audit it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, really? You have five million lines of code written by 100 people over five years, most of whom no longer work at your company. And you think that's auditable. It's not. With AI, this is the really funny thing. If you have a good data set and you have good train, training, you can actually train it to a loss function. You have a known loss function, right? The weird thing about the big C program is it doesn't have a loss function. You have no idea where its sharp edges are, where its complete failures are, Yeah, right? That's fair. You know, how long did they ship Windows and everybody's using it at blue screens on a regular basis, right? You've been using that. So that's the auditable yeah. software that, you know, you think AI is like inferior to? Well, this so, is... So this is, you know, and then the other, the other mysterious thing is the people who wrote the code, human beings, they also appear to mostly have intelligence, and they're not auditable either. We don't live in an auditable world. I was going to say, but now that you have... Ship sailed.